Hello my dear students, today we will learn a very interesting story that is The Legend of Sifuno, Lesson 6. You will find this story in your alternative textbook, page number 35 to 37. So to quickly switch on to our lesson, let's learn the key words for today. Encounter, meaning meet someone by chance. Native, meaning the place where a person is born. Nourishing child, meaning a child who is under breastfeeding. Mysterious, meaning not known or explained. Sprouted, meaning a part of a plane that begin to grow. So students, this story is, uh, is a folktale of the Angami tribe. And this story is about, okay, a legend woman called Sifuno from the Rotsama village who married, okay, a man from Mo area and went to live there. She was treated well in the early days of her married life and was blessed with a child. However, her husband began to see another woman and had ordered Sifuno to go back to her village very late one night. Those scared of encountering a tiger or losing her way, okay? Sufuno was so deeply hurt by her husband that she left for her native village late in the night. And Sufuno, okay, uh, carried her child on her bed with a burning bamboo stick as her only light as she set out of her of their house, right? And Sufuno's husband, so Sufuno's husband watched the light and no longer saw it after it crossed a hill. On the way, she met with an accident at a very place where her torch burnt out and died there. Her nourishing child clung to the mortal remains of her mother and was pierced to death by her mother's ribs. And their bodies, okay, mysteriously turned to stone in the place where they had laid down. And then, the bamboo stick, okay, that Sifuno used in her return journey also sprouted new shoots which mysteriously grow downwards while other normal bamboos grew upwards. Sifuno's parents or her husband did not know about this event, not having heard from Sifuno for a long time, okay. Sifuno's parents went to search for her in her husband's village. So they were shocked to learn that Sufuno and her ch uh, her child, okay, had ran away from their home for a long time ago, and then now her husband had remarried. So when Sufuno's relatives went to search for her and her child, okay, they came across two stone figures. This was at the spot, okay, where her husband had last seen the light of the burning torch go out. These figures resembled an adult and a child, so they concluded that this must surely be Sifuno and her child. So, on being informed by Sifuno's family, the entire village of Rosama decided to go and bring back the stone figures to the village. And as they began to drag the, uh, drag the stone, a very powerful storm blocked out. It was also noticed that when the villagers tried to drag the bigger stone alone, they could not move the stone at all. So, when both the stones were tied together, they could, without much difficulty, drag the stones to the village, which lies at their village even today. So, students, you can also go and visit the stones at Rosama village. Alright? So, this will be the end of our story. Okay, see you in my next class. Thank you.